Hello and welcome to this overview of WooCommerce 7.2. My name is Soren Spellinglund and today we're taking a look at the uh, new features we have introduced in WooCommerce 7.2, including uh, a whole set of uh, business tools for Sitecore 8 for dealing with commerce, a new look and feel uh, for those tools. We're looking at a couple of new APIs we have introduced on the marketing side of things to enable scenarios that uh, were pretty common but a little difficult to uh, to get done with the existing APIs and we're looking at a new campaign item uh, feature where you can go in and target price groups for um, for display purposes. We're looking at settings as well so we have revamped the way we deal with settings and we're going to dive into that a little bit as well. And of course we have a ton of fixes and enhancements that, um, that are there are too many of them to actually focus on in this demo here. So let's start by looking at the new tools. This is where we spend the majority of the time uh, in this particular release. And so of course, uh, that's where we're going to spend most time in our demo as well. Before we jump into the new tools, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, uh, the old tools. So you get a sense of, um, of what WooCommerce looked uh, like before in Sitecore 8. So we're looking at Launchpad here from uh, Sitecore 8 uh, and you'll see here that WooCommerce sits exactly where you're used to on the dashboard. The way it works is, uh, as you're familiar with, that you get access to all the tools by clicking into this one app in Sitecore. So catalog management, orders, campaigns, all that good stuff is there. What 7.2 does is it does away with the idea of a single purpose app in Sitecore. So we basically move uh, to a more focused app model like Sitecore. So over here you can see examples of what Sitecore does in, uh, in V8 and forward. Basically when you want to manage lists you can do that one place. When you want to deal with the pro experience profile you can do that in one place. But they're very focused on doing just one thing. So in WooCommerce uh, 7.2 that, we're, that I'm logging into now, we have adopted that exact same model. So what you can see here is uh, still Sitecore, uh, obviously, but you can see here how the one app that we had before is now replaced with four separate ones, each one dealing with an aspect of commerce that you need to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. The beauty of this model is that each app with its focus makes it much easier to get into the actual functional area you need. You don't have to first click, then click some more to actually get in there. You'll just be right in the experience you need. So the tools that we're releasing with WooCommerce 7.2 are Catalog Manager for dealing with stores, catalogs, categories, products, pricing, all the things you need to, um, to display catalogs online. Second is the order manager, which is all about dealing with, uh, with orders uh, once they have been placed. So order workflows, all that good stuff to actually fulfill orders for customers. And we're introducing promotion manager, which, which deals with all the merchandising and campaigning aspects of commerce. So discounts and things of that nature. And finally, we have commerce settings here. So when you need to change something in, uh, in your setup, this is where you would go and do that. So before we dive into the into the tool, let me just show you the way Sitecore looks and feels in case you're not familiar with it. So list manager here, simple tool for dealing with lists uh, that you can uh, that you can uh, leverage. You can see I have a list set up here, but you'll notice the look and feel. We have the gray area here, the red area here. We have all the this this very nice and tight UI for uh, for Sitecore tools. So let's look at what it looks like in WooCommerce. So I'll open up uh, Catalog Manager and you'll see here that it, the exact same look and feel is present. We have our widgets here, which of course you can edit uh, to your heart's content. So they show exactly what you want. They can even be personalized for your own, um, for you as a user. So you have your very own dashboard. The next person that comes in here may have a completely different dashboard. So when we look at a store, you'll notice again that tight look and feel of, um, of Sitecore 8 applied to the commerce tools. And that is of course done for catalogs, for categories and for products and all the things in between here. So it just makes it much more familiar if you're already running Sitecore 8 to work with and, uh, and lots, uh, lots easier to work with. So that's Catalog Manager. Let's jump back and take a look at Auto Manager. So again, different tool, but um, and a different uh, purpose, of course. So again, dashboard that relates to orders, but uh, and in this case, we're focused on order management. So the order statuses of the system, such as they're set up here, are present here, like they used to be. And you can click in and do your order management, change orders, place new orders, all the things that you're used to, but in this nice side core rate look and feel that uh, that you've been uh, that you're used to. 
Let's take a look at the, uh, the final tool here, Promotion Manager, where you go in and deal with discounts. So we have the campaigns from, from before, another dashboard, of course. Uh, and of course, you have all your, um, your usual models for setting up a discount, the AAA model that uh, many of you will be familiar with. And um, yeah, that's basically it. We've, uh, we've basically just adopted the tools to make them more familiar and more sort of single purpose. Good. So let's take a look. Now that we're talking about marketing anyway, let's jump back and, and uh, look at some of the API that's in there. So one of the situations that uh, continually cropped up in, a, in an e-commerce solution based on uh, e-commerce was one where you would need to, uh, given a product list like this one, you would need to figure out which discounts apply to the individual products. And the way it worked and still works is that you get that on a price. So basically when you ask for a for a price for a product, any discounts that apply to that one product will be factored in. So that's that's great. That makes uh, displaying uh, price discounts very simple. But what if you want the rich details around why the price was was modified to be available as well? It was available. It was possible in the older versions, but it's, it was just a little more cumbersome to get there. So with WooCommerce 7.2, we're introducing a new API that will enable you to to feed in what we call a targeting context for marketing foundation that basically enables you to say, well, right now I'm looking for, for discounts that only apply to this product or that product or both of them if you want to. And using that mechanism, you can now uh, control much more at a much finer detail what is actually applied and how it would get applied. So let's uh, take a look at that. So what I'm looking at here in, uh, in Visual Studio is the eye targeting service, as you can see up here. So it gets a little technical, very technical actually, but uh, these are the APIs that you would use as a developer. And the, the new thing is that it, back in the old days, which was yesterday, I guess, uh, you would be able to call a method called get targeted campaign items, this one here. So this is the one from previous versions. This new one here introduces uh, an overload that enables you to feed in that targeting context and the targeting context basically contains uh, information about what you are trying to uh, to uh, find discounts for. And that means that you get a list back with all the details around why uh, or what would actually be applied later on. So this is the same mechanism used when we deal with pricing, but you just get much more information back so you can do many more interesting things like displaying a banner or something from the campaign on the product itself. Simple stuff, but uh, it will be very useful. The most common application of this will be to figure out which campaign items apply for a given product. So when you're rendering that list we were looking at before down here, you will be able to say, well, this campaign item with these particular properties, they, they should be rendered in a particular way. It's just a nice little use case. Let's jump back here. Uh, in that same vein, we also introduced new display targets. So these are the targets that are used to figure out with, where to display banners. And we've had the price group uh, target for a while now that enables you to specify rules around which price group uh, a discount should actually work for, but only when we're actually applying discounts, not when we're displaying discounts. So now with the version 7.2, the price group target has been promoted to also be a display target. And that means it can now be used in that other context, which is very handy. Finally, a word on settings. Um, so since we introduced uh, WooCommerce way, way back in V1, we've been using web.config for uh, configuration, which kind of makes sense. But one of the tr uh, problems with web config is the only way to change it is using uh, a nice little editor. And once you change it, um, well, it's it, there is only that one version. So when we come and upgrade WooCommerce, we tend to reset web config to the default settings, which is annoying. So what we're doing with 7.2 is we're introducing the settings configuration file. So for those of you familiar with WooCommerce, you know about the components uh, configuration file and all the associated files for, uh, for the bits and bobs that make up the platform. Settings is basically that, but for settings instead. And it of course means that apps now has the ability to go in and override settings, not by changing the file itself, but by adding a file next to the existing one. So when an app is introduced that needs to change a setting for the platform, it can be changed in exactly the same way uh, that you are familiar with from, uh, from components where you, when you want to override a component, you basically register that component one more time, but not by changing the file, just by adding a new file with the same component ID. Same principle, but for settings. So we think this will be much easier to work with, much more 
uh, much simpler to introduce new settings and we will start to migrate more and more settings into the settings configuration file because the flexibility is there it's just much nicer to work with finally we have all the fixes and enhancements if you're interested in the details around those you can uh, look up the release notes on our website and uh, and see if there's something there that is of particular interest to you there are too many to uh, to to list here and go through but um, there is a quite a quite a hefty amount of uh, little fixes in there so with that i hope you uh, you will give you commerce 7.2 a spin and give us some feedback based on uh, what you find we look forward to hearing from you and we hope that you will enjoy this latest re release of ucommerce thank you for watching and have a great day